developing news that we're on top of this morning. Derby police discovered a body in an apartment earlier this week and investigators confirmed the evidence indicates the body is likely that of Stephen Hoffenberg. And he is a former friend and business partner of Jeffrey Epstein. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne joins us now live from the Derby Police Department. Good morning, Roger. What are the next steps in this investigation? Well, good morning. You know, the next big step is that the medical examiner's office is still working to definitively identify the body. But at this point, Derby police tell us they do believe that Stephen Hoffenberg is the man who lived in the apartment where that discovery was made on Tuesday night. And they also tell us that at this point, they do believe he is the person who died there. Now, yesterday, when we went out to the scene, we did see a detective going in and out of the home as he continued to search for evidence. Now, police arrived to Mount Pleasant Drive actually on Tuesday night on a welfare check and found a dead man inside the home. The condition of his body made identification difficult, but investigators say cell phone records, the car parked outside the home, and medical records indicate the man who died is likely 77-year-old Stephen Hoffenberg, who served as a friend, mentor, and business partner of Jeffrey Epstein before eventually serving 18 years in prison for running a Ponzi scheme. Now, we spoke with a neighbor who didn't want to show her face on camera last night, but she told us, of course, as you would imagine, she's still in shock about the whole situation. She says the man who had lived here for the past couple of years, at least, was quiet, kept his blinds down, and maybe also left his apartment about once a day. I just know that his first name was Steve, and um, it definitely looks like the guy that's been portrayed in the news. And as we mentioned, the medical examiner's office is still working, though, to make a positive identification in this case. As soon as we get any new information from the medical examiner's office or from the Derby Police Department, of course, we will share it with you right away on air and on the Channel 3 app. Reporting live this morning outside Derby Police Headquarters, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.